Hi, Scott Orlin with Cinema Magazine. Oh boy, kids, you're in for a delightful treat with a new series coming your way called The Flight Attendant. And I'm here with not only the star, but one of the people who helped create it, Kaylee Cuoco. Kaylee, after I think 250 so episodes of Big Bang Theory and Inhabiting Penny, how important creatively was it for you just to kind of go in a total different direction? Yeah, I just, I wanted to put my own spin on something. I wanted it to be my choice. I was unsure what it was going to be, to be honest. I didn't have some sort of need to get out of comedy or do a drama or, you know, I just thought the right thing. I always had a strong gut. And when I read this book that I had a chill go down my spine, I'm like, I think this would make good TV. And that's, that's all I thought. And, and I, three years later, it's going to finally be on TV. And I'm so excited. I have to say, after watching a couple of episodes, that it should come with a warning. Do not drink too much. Bad things can happen to you. And I'm wondering... <laughs> we already know that, has, though. <laughs> has it altered your own concept of alcohol? That, oh my God, not that this will happen. I mean, you know, we've all had those nights. I, I think we'd be lying if we said we didn't. And I... I as, as, as funny as some of these things have uh, that happened to Cassie can be a little bit quirky and funny. We do, we are talking about a woman who really has a true problem with alcohol and has to face that. And she's been drinking these memories away of her childhood. And now this amazing trauma that's happened in her life. She, at the end of this, she realizes there's not enough alcohol in her world to erase what has happened to her and that she has to face it. And that, and she wants to fix it, but she's going to have to hit rock bottom very hard before she comes to that conclusion. What I love is uh, you, you mentioned about memory is her relationship with her brother, because, you know, we all have people in our life who help us with our own memory, who help us get in touch with who we are. Who's that for you? Who kind of keeps you remembering? I think my sister and I, my sister and I are extremely close and we had a great, we had a great childhood and we have an awesome family, but she keeps me definitely real. And, but we also have the same sense of humor. So we do remember things similarly. And we're always like, oh my God, do you remember when that happened? La, la. We have a very, very special relationship. So it'd definitely be my sister. And I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and presume that you've been on numerous airline flights. So you've probably had interactions with flight attendants. So yeah. would you make a good flight attendant? And why do you think that profession lends itself to an interesting character? I do not think I would make a good flight attendant. They have to be very patient. I mean, these are people pleasers. This is, that's just, and you gotta be real nice, especially right now. Oh my God, it's even more difficult. I really think flight attendants should be tipped. I think they deserve a tip when you get off the plane because that's a lot of service. That was a lot of service. What was the second part of the question? I was thinking of the flight attendant. About why that, that profession? I mean, obviously, you know, they can travel and they move around. And as you're answering that too, talk about the, the guilt complex that somebody has, because that really makes her neurotic. Yes, I mean, she left a horrible crime scene and has no idea what happened. And remember, she's also in, she's in Bangkok and she's a woman and, and needs to get out of there and needs to get back to New York. I think that was her biggest fear of like, let me face this back home because she could have been stuck in Bangkok for the rest of her life. Like who knows what would have happened. So yeah, the and then the torture and then the guilt. And then I think, you know, the book, obviously books are way more detailed than we could ever put in a TV show or a movie, right? So we had to think of a quirky way, a twist in how we could keep Alex's character alive. And I owe a lot of that to Steve Yaki, who came up with the brilliant idea of how we keep him, how we keep him around for the eight episodes. Well, it's terrific. I congratulate you. I can't wait to see the rest of them. Kaylee, the show is called Flight Attendant. And this is Scott Orland. Until next time. Thank you.